Hello Hemonites this is Astrobotics and I am Hari Shankar I hope everyone is doing good this video is about controlling pico hash by using an android application uh, yes we are going to add a bluetooth module hc05 bluetooth module to the robot and for android application we are going to create it using mit app inventor before watching this video i recommend you to watch the previous video then only you can uh, able to fully understand this before that uh, if you did not subscribe the channel subscribe the channel and hit the like button comment and share the video in the previous video we have seen the full working video of the robot now i just open the robot and explain the circuit connections This is the full circuit diagram of the robot attached with bluetooth module. This is the HC05 bluetooth module. I am going to use these four pins from bluetooth module. 5 volt in, ground, transmitter and receiver. As you can see in the circuit diagram, 5 volt and ground pins from the servo drive is directly connected to both Pico and Bluetooth module. And the transmitter and receiver from the Bluetooth module is directly connected to Pico board. The transmitter from the Bluetooth module is connected to Pico board's pin number 7, which is UART receiver pin. Similarly, the receiver from the Bluetooth module is connected to Pico board's pin number 6, which is UART transmitter. That's it. This is the overall connection from Pico board to Bluetooth module. The remaining connection is same from the previous videos. Now we can see the coding section. I'll just remove all the connections. Sometimes with all the connections, the board will not be recognized. Once we upload the coding, we can reconnect everything back again. Press the boot button and insert the micro USB cable. Then release the boot button. Now open Tony IDE and install MicroPython firmware. Now the firmware has been installed successfully. Now we can close this window. This is the main MicroPython file. For Bluetooth control, we need UART communication. As you can see here, I have imported UART from machine. Here I am creating an instance for UART. Since we are using UART channel 1 from Pico module, I am mentioning 1 here. And baud rate as 9600. In this while loop, I am checking if the UART received any data or not. If any data received from the Bluetooth module, 
I am reading and storing in a data variable. This data will be sent from an Android application. For each button click, unique string where data will be transmitted to the Bluetooth module. I wrote a multiple if condition to compare the data and do the actions. If it's facial expression, it starts with A. If it's a body movement, it starts with B. Once you got the code, you can directly upload into Pico module. If you want to understand the full coding concepts, you should watch the previous videos. Once coding upload done, you can run the main python file. Since we removed all the circuit connections, you will get an error, but that's fine. It will work once we reconnect every circuits again. After uploading the code, we can remove the micro USB cable. Now we can reconnect the all the circuits. Refer the circuit diagram if you have any doubts. Now we can connect the battery and make sure everything is working fine. Seems everything is working fine. Now we can cover the front body part. Now we can see how to create an Android application. I am using MIT App Inventor to create an Android application. I have attached .aa file if you want to modify the application. It has lot of screens which we can use it for previous projects. This is the project that I have created to control the Pico hash. Here, right side, you can see all the components that I have used. It contains images, labels, buttons, and Bluetooth communication interface. Here, you can see all the blocks for each button. If you click on any button, it will send a unique string data to the Bluetooth module. You can find the .apk file in the description link. You can download the apk file and install into an Android mobile. Or if you wish to modify, you can modify using the .aa file. After modification, you can just build and install into your Android mobile. After build, either we can scan the QR code or we can download the APK file using the download option. Once you install the application, turn on the Pico hash and pair it with the H05 Bluetooth module. Once you paired with the Android mobile, here you can use select device and connect to HC05 Bluetooth module. As you can see, now the Bluetooth module has been connected. Now you can press any button and play with the Pico hash.